from bats being blind to ostriches burying their heads. Here are 21 of the most common misconceptions about animals. Number 21, alpha wolves. The idea of an alpha personality has its roots in the behavior of wolf packs. At one time, it was believed that wolf packs in the wild will follow a single dominant individual or alpha. But that's a myth because wolves live in family groups. Within that order, the parents might be viewed as alphas while their offspring are subordinates. Wildlife biologists say that all members of the pack will abide by that familiar hierarchy. Number 20, porcupines shoot their quills. The prickly rodents are known for their sharp quills. In fact, their Latin name translates as quill pig. When threatened, those quills rise up as a deterrent to predators. But the porcupines cannot deliberately aim and shoot their quills, as was once thought. But the spines will detach easily if touched. Number 19, sharks smell a drop of blood. Have you ever heard that big, fearsome fish can smell a drop of blood from miles away? It is true that sharks possess keenly developed olfactory senses, so much so that certain species can indeed detect minute amounts of blood in seawater. Experts say it works out to around one part per million of blood in the water. Still, it's estimated that sharks can smell blood from the distance of a couple of American football fields, 200 yards or 183 meters. And it would have to be an ideal day with favorable currents. Number 18, toads give you warts. No scientific proof has ever been provided for this myth, but it has endured through the ages. Toads do exhibit lumps on their bodies, which is sometimes called warts, but are really glands. The protrusions are useful in helping the amphibian blend into its environment and also aid in the critter's survival in drier climates. Chances are the myth simply grew as a result of the creature's lumpy appearance. Number 17, koalas are bears. These cuddly critters do kind of resemble teddy bears and are native to Australia. But outside of Oz, you wouldn't hear the terms koala and bear connected. About the only thing the two species have in common is that both are mammals. Koalas are marsupials like kangaroos and wombats. The misnomer is the result of European settlers in the 18th century calling it a bear due to the animal's appearance and behavior. However, they are known to turn ferocious when resisting capture. Number 16, owls are wise. These birds always seem to be associated with wisdom. In fact, such portrayals can be found going back to ancient Greece. But are the birds really so smart and wise? Well, experts say that while owls are top-notch hunters, they're really no more intelligent than any other bird species. In fact, when compared to crows, these critters are at the back of the class. Number 15, healthy dogs have cold or wet noses. Not necessarily so. The degree of wetness or coldness is more of an indicator of the dog's level of activity, not especially its health condition. A wet nose can help the dog better regulate its internal body temperature. The animals also have a layer of mucus on the nose that enhances their ability to smell. Part of the reason dogs lick their noses so often is to keep them clean and to gather scent particles to sample whatever it is they're smelling. Number 14, earwigs live in your ears. Here's a myth that might make your skin crawl because it involves an insect crawling into your ear and taking up residence there. That story has been around since ancient times. In fact, that's how earwigs got their name in the first place. There is some bad news here. The insects have been known to crawl into people's ears, but there's no evidence that they've ever harmed a human in doing so. So this one is a myth, hopefully. Number 13, daddy longlegs are venomous spiders. In fact, the myth says that these arachnids have the most potent venom of any spider species. That's doubly incorrect because these animals are not technically spiders. They occupy a separate order of arachnids commonly called harvestmen, and they don't have any fangs or carry venom, so they pose no danger to humans. These creatures are often mistaken for another arachnid of a similar appearance. That species is venomous, but their toxin is very weak and wouldn't harm a human. Number 12, turkeys will drown themselves. Their reputation suggests that they're not the brightest of the bird bunch. In fact, they are said to stand and gape up at the sky while it's raining and drown while standing up. But such is not the case. While the awkward birds are known to occasionally stare up at the sky, they are not known to drown in the rain. Experts say the standing and looking up at the sky is a result of a genetic condition, which causes the birds to exhibit various abnormal behaviors. Number 11, sharks are cancer-proof. That story became popular a few weeks back, but there's no scientific research to back up the claim. 
nor that they are immune to any type of disease. In fact, researchers have found several cases of cancerous tumours in great white and other shark species. Some sources claim the story came about as a way to promote shark cartilage as a cancer treatment, but there's no research to validate that claim either. Number 10. Lemmings leap to their death. Lemmings are furry little gerbil-like rodents that have been the subject of several misconceptions over the ages. In the 16th century, the animals were thought to fall out of the sky during rainstorms. In modern times, the creatures have become the subject of a myth that they engage in a ritual of mass suicide by migrating to and jumping off cliffs. This misconception actually stems from a wildlife documentary from the 1950s that staged a scene of the rodents jumping off of cliffs in an apparent suicide. But there's actually no proof of this behaviour in the wild at all. Number 9. Bears hibernate in winter. We had a little debate about this one. Some sources claim that while species including the American black bear and grizzly bear will take an extended winter break, they don't truly hibernate because they don't sleep all the way through it. Instead, bears enter a state of torpor from which they can easily and quickly awaken. Other sources claim that bears do in fact hibernate during the winter as their metabolism slows and their heart rate drops from 55 to 9 beats per minute. Still, other sources say that bears enter multiple bouts of torpor characterised by prolonged inactivity. That, along with a reduction in metabolism and body temperature, has been defined as hibernation. What do you think? Number 8. Bulls see red. More often than not, we've bought into the misconception that the bull is angered by the cave's colour. But red doesn't upset the big beasts any more than any other colour, because they're colourblind. It's the size and motion of the cape that actually gets their blood boiling. The cape is thought to be coloured red as a way to mask the animal's wounds. Number 7. Frogs in hot water. Have you ever heard this metaphor meant to imply you're simply one of the mindless masses? If you set a frog in a pan of water and slowly turn up the heat, the amphibian won't notice the temperature rising. Further, the animal will never realise that it's being steadily cooked alive. But according to research by zoologists, this story of frogs in hot water turns out to be all wet. In controlled studies, the creatures always attempted to hop out of danger when temperatures became unbearable. It implies that no matter how long it takes the frog to acclimate, there always comes a point where enough is enough. Number 6. Camels store water in their humps. These critters are known to survive seven days without drinking water, but it's not because they store water in their hump or humps, depending on the species. The hump actually stores fat, which can give the animal an amount of energy equivalent to three weeks of food. Experts say that camels can thank their tolerance for dehydration to their blood cells, which have an oval shape, as opposed to the usual circular variety. Number 5. Dog Years Did you know there is no particular formula for converting dog years to human years that is scientifically agreed upon? The long-held belief that dogs age at a rate of 7 years for one human year turns out to be wrong. Experts say that a more accurate formula would be one human year equaling up to 15 canine years. At one year, most dogs are fully grown and are sexually mature. The second year would equate to about 3 to 8 human years as the animal continues to develop. After that, each dog year is thought to equal up to 4 or 5 human years. Number 4. Piranhas feast on humans no doubt you've heard of stories about vicious piranha fish stripping the meat off of human victims within seconds. Although the fish have attacked humans, such incidents are rarely reported. While piranhas do have sharp, scary teeth, they tend to be shy and non-confrontational. They mostly scavenge for plants, fish and insects within South American lakes and rivers. Their man-eater image is thought to have originated in Brazil in 1914. That's when Theodore Roosevelt witnessed piranhas devouring a dead cow within short order. But according to this story, the entire scene was staged for Roosevelt and other tourists. The captive fish had been unfed for days to ensure a feeding frenzy. Number 3. King of the Jungle Lions can't take pride in this title because they don't show up in jungles or rainforest environments. They prefer the open spaces of the grassy plains and savannas. If there is a boss big cat, it would be the lioness. When the adults go out hunting after nightfall, the females will hunt prey on the savanna. Meanwhile, the males will lie in wait in the underbrush and ambush prey when it ventures too close. While they both pitch in, most experts say it's the females of this species that do the majority of work as regards the gathering of food and raising the cubs. Number 2. Bats are blind. 
While many microbat species have unremarkable visual activity, no species is completely blind. Their eyes tend to be small and underdeveloped, but they can see to varying degrees. In fact, they can use their eyes in conjunction with their sonar or echolocation to navigate greater distances. Megabat species like the flying fox can have eyesight on par with humans, and sometimes better. Number 1. Ostriches bury their heads The big, flightless birds really do bring their heads close to the ground. But it's not so they can bury their heads in the sand. That would only cause them to suffocate. Ostriches are known to stick their heads in the sand to swallow pebbles and sand which help aid their digestion. More often than not, when these creatures feel threatened, they'll simply turn tail and run. But if you enjoyed the video, don't run away so quickly. Click that big red subscribe button and the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.